Welcome back to another video. In this video, we will give you guys an ultimate travel guide to London, the home to world-class restaurants, an unparalleled music scene, fantastic hotels, and some seriously rich history. Plus tea. Who could forget the tea? London is a beautiful city to visit, and with England's fantastic public transportation, it's a breeze to get from point A to point B. You could easily spend a week or more exploring all that each London neighborhood has to offer and still have things left over for your next visit. The best time to go, the best time to visit London is March through May when the temperatures are mild and the city's parks are green and blooming. However, late spring, along with summer, is also prime tourist season and hotel and flight prices reflect the surge. You're more likely to find airfare and accommodation deals in the fall and winter, but you'll also encounter chilly temperatures. December in London is also an incredibly popular place to be during the holidays, so expect the streets to be crowded with both English and international tourists. How to get to city center from the airport When arriving at London's airports, there are several options for getting to the city center. The quickest and most convenient way is to take the express train, such as the Heathrow Express, Gatwick Express, or Stansted Express. These trains are fast, frequent, and take you directly to the city center. Alternatively, you can take the underground or the bus, which are cheaper but slower options. The underground is a good option if you are traveling light, while the bus can be a great way to see the city as you travel. Private taxi and ride-hailing services like Uber and Bolt are also available, but they can be more expensive than other options. Whatever mode of transport you choose, there are plenty of ways to get from London's airports to the city center. Must-see classics A lot of us likes to plan ahead different attractions to visit when visiting a new place. With sites and cultural hubs like the National Portrait Gallery, Trafalgar Square, the Tower of London, Tower Bridge, Big Ben, and all manner of food, drink, shopping, history, and culture, it's no wonder why planning can be a bit frustrating. Under are some of the most popular attractions in London that are a must-visit. Tower of London The first attraction us, the Tower of London. This is a fascinating historical landmark that has stood the test of time. With its dark and ominous past, it's no wonder that it's said to be haunted by the ghosts of former prisoners. From the crown jewels to the ravens that call the tower home, there is so much to see and learn about this iconic attraction. National Portrait Gallery Another famous place in London is the National Portrait Gallery. It is a treasure trove of famous faces and fascinating stories. From kings and queens to rock stars and Hollywood legends, the gallery is a visual feast for history buffs and art lovers alike. But it's not just about the paintings, the gallery also boasts a range of interactive exhibits and events that bring the portraits to life. Big Ben Big Ben is one of London's most iconic sites. Many visitors don't realize that Big Ben isn't the name for the ornate clock or the tower but, in fact, the giant bell that rings inside the Elizabeth Tower at the Houses of Parliament. It's over 150 years ago and chimes each hour on the hour, with the sound reverberating through central London. Big Ben is a memorable attraction for visitors of all ages from countries around the world. It should be included in any London travel itinerary. Streets There are so many amazing streets to visit in London, but here are some of the best ones. 1. Oxford Street Oxford Street is one of the most famous and iconic streets in London and is considered a must-visit destination for tourists and locals alike. One of the busiest shopping streets in England, Oxford Street is packed with high street retailers and department stores. Don't let its modern-day facade fool you into thinking that it's merely a famous shopping street though, as Oxford Street is one of London's most historic roads too. Once known as Tyburn Street, this stretch of London Road from High Holborn in the north to Oxford Street in the west was once the last journey of prisoners heading to the gallows at Marble Arch. 2. Abbey Road This road and street, John's Wood shot to fame on 8 August 1969 when the Beatles walked across the zebra crossing at Abbey Road, a minute's walk from Emi Studios where the Fab Four were recording their last album. 
It was only after the release of Abbey Road that Egan Eye Studios changed its name to Abbey Road Studios. Today, around 1,000 people visit this London street every single day to recreate the famous Beatles Abbey Road album cover. For the full experience, join the Beatles walking tour which goes every Tuesday and Saturday at 11 am. 3. The Mall, with its tree-lined, red carpet leading right up to Buckingham Palace. The Mall is one of the most famous of all London streets, as this is the grand processional route for royal weddings and British celebrations. Like nearby Pall Mall, which was once an ancient highway believed to date back as far as Saxon times, the mall is named after the 17th century game Pell Mell. Introduced by King Charles U. There's plenty to see around here as well and the Royal London Walking Tour is the best way to discover it all. What to eat and where to eat it. Ask anybody what dishes come to mind when they think of English cuisine, and the same ones will pop up time and time again. However, finding decent versions of traditional foods in London is another matter entirely. Take it from a born and bred Londoner. These are the dishes we order and the places we head to when we fancy a little taste of home. Full English Breakfast At Terry's Cafe, you will get served the best and classic English breakfast in London. A culinary relic of our Anglo-Saxon roots, this dish became popular among all socioeconomic classes during the Industrial Revolution. It's a cuddle on a plate, perfect for the morning after a big night out or to set you up for a long day of work. Head to a classic calf and go for the full works. Sausage, bacon, baked beans, tomato, fried egg, fried slice, and of course, a hefty slice of black pudding. Bangers and mash. First of all, bangers are sausages, just so we're all on the same page. They're called that due to the way they used to explode out of their skins while being fried. The British have loved pork products for ages, ever since the days when we used to gauge the size of a forest by how many swine we could fit in it. Despite recent changes in eating habits, this is still one of the most popular traditional foods in London. It's best when paired with a pile of buttery mash and an unctuous onion gravy. Have a taste of this traditional meal at Mother Mash's. This establishment is so into bangers and mash, they've dedicated virtually their entire menu to it. That can't go wrong. Fish and Chips The history of fish and chips reveals a surprising origin story. Fried fish came from the Jews exiled from the Iberian Peninsula during the 1400s and chips from French-speaking Belgians. The only thing we did was pair them together for the first time, but they became such an important part of the national psyche that they were one of the few things not rationed during World War II. The best place for this dish? An actual fish and chip shop, not a pub. Where to get it? Broccoli's Rock. A proper community chippy in Southeast London, this award winner is the go-to for those in the know. Order a steaming package of beautiful battered haddock, vinegar-soaked chips, and a pickled egg. Want something a little less heavy? Not a problem. These guys grill up sustainably sourced salmon and sea bass, make their mushy peas in-house and even provide gluten-free options. From the historic landmarks and bustling streets to the cultural hotspots and hidden gems, we hope you've enjoyed discovering all that this incredible city has to offer. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, London never fails to surprise and inspire. So, until next time, keep exploring and experiencing all the wonders that the world has to offer. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on our next adventure.